So clearly everyone is saying the right thing. Everyone is doing the right thing. I mean, Eli going above and beyond by actually staying late in practice and mentoring Daniel a little bit. But how hard do you think, Nick, this will be for Eli to take on this new role now as mentor when you know what he's been for the last 15, 16 well, years? Well, listen, I would imagine it's incredibly difficult, but it's not like this should come as a shock to the system for him. And I would disagree with you a little bit in that Eli going above and beyond. When the, when the Giants draft a quarterback at number six, and don't ask you to take a pay cut when you they easily could have. When they're, you're still making your $22 million this year, when it could have been zero this year, they the, part of the job this year for Eli was going to be eventually doing this. Now, everyone expected Eli to do it as a gentleman and with grace as he so appears to be. I mean, and that, and, that is, and that is a testament to why Eli Manning, as an individual, forget him as a player, is one of the most respected people in the league. Nobody has a bad word to say about who Eli Manning has been as a giant in the facility for the organization at any point in his career. I... I don't know what it feels like as a player to be demoted, but I would imagine in any walk of life, if you see something coming, and Eli had to see this coming at some point, you would hope you've done some mental preparation for when the day does arrive. And so Eli maybe thought that he would be able to stave it off a few more weeks than he did, but he knew at some point this year he was losing his job and he was going to transition from starting quarterback the New York Giants to mentor for the future quarterback the New York Giants. Did you just say that Eli should have been practicing getting benched no. what he was going to do no i said you mentally prepare yourself of course if 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 you're married and your spouse moves out and says, I think we should do a trial separation. Okay, well, that's you should very, be that day when it happens. That, I don't no, think no, no. all the mental prep in no, the world of, is going to. No, no, no. Of course, but 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 if that happens, then you should be mentally preparing but, for the divorce papers but, to be filed. And but, even when those papers are filed, maybe it's devastating. But you have been mentally preparing. When you play as well as Eli, and you're a superstar in this league, you're an accomplished player. You don't think someone's going to take your job. When they draft him, it's like, man, I'm getting ready to play. Eli thought just like the owner, I'm getting ready to play another couple of years. So there is no preparation. Didn't it? When I took Anthony Carter's spot and took every all his shining, he didn't mentor me. He didn't stay after practice either, Jenna. So you're right. That ain't Eli's job to stay after practice. Nick is wrong in that. That is extra. That's because Eli is a special human being. When, all around the National Football League, when guys lose their job, you, we don't hear that sound bite. You know something? He stayed after work. You know something? A lot of times, they storm off. Oh, he left practice today after getting bent. So, yesterday, I would say easily is one of the five worst days in Eli Manning's career. It's gut-wrenching because you come in there, you still have to face the media, and the roles have totally flopped. And your ability, you didn't lose your ability overnight. This guy didn't beat him out. Like, Eli didn't even have a chance this year. If you look at that, what they did in two games didn't um, depend on Barkley. What did Eli do to lose his job? And what did Daniel Jones do? The coach said, I had a gut feeling. Yeah, your gut is when you draft a guy in the top ten, your gut is he's going to play this year. So they decided to do after week one or two. It's not a matter of is that right. But what Eli went through yesterday is not a normal day. All right? I've gotten benched and I've gotten divorced and they're not the same. Well, I, uh, okay. they, they, they not the same. Okay, fair enough. It was maybe it was an awkward analogy. But the, the point that I'm making, and I will stand firm on this, is if Eli Manning was not mentally preparing for the day he loses his job, then he's foolish. Well, I just don't I, I don't know anyone in the league, Nick. And, and I've been watching these guys get benched. No one was ready for it, even though you draft a guy. All right, when Denny Green brought me into my, his office and said, I'm getting ready to turn the leadership of this team over to Randy Moss and the Dante Culpepper. As much as I knew that was going to happen, there was nothing to get me ready for those words when it hit me that I had lost all my power. Well, and so, and may, so maybe the moment, even if you have been ready for it to come or thinking you're ready for it to come, can be a shock to the system. But the, when the, the quarterback position is obviously different than what happened with you and Anthony Carter and obviously clearly way different than when they drafted Randy. Because after they drafted Randy, you didn't lose your job. You went on four more, five more great years with the Vikings. When, you, when, when a team drafts a quarterback like you said, 
in the top 10, you know he's going to play. I'm not saying that wasn't a devastating moment for Eli, that he that he didn't think, I deserved a few more weeks, even right. if this should have happened a couple years ago instead of a couple weeks later. Let's just do but, this, though. Mm -hmm. The morning Eli got up when the Patriots were undefeated, mm -hmm. he went on TV. I was on a network. I had one of my colleagues say, this is the greatest football team that's ever of been ever been assembled. Best team I've ever seen, and today they mark their day. They go undefeated and will go down in history. Eli sat in his hotel room and listened to all that and went out there and slayed that dragon. That's the same guy that got benched now. So we, we have to appropriate some of the things that he's been able to accomplish with, wow, that must have been a, it's It's bigger than you can imagine. All right, I don't expect people to understand. I don't expect people to be like, you know something? To, to Eli should have done this and that. It's a rare, rare opportunity. I can guarantee you guys this. I guarantee you Fox couldn't bring nobody in here for y'all to mentor. Hey, I want y'all to sit on the side and, and, and make them better. Why, y'all know y'all sitting over there and you know you're better than them. And, and me, I mean, what, what's wrong with that? No, be, because the, I, to me it is, it, it, is not, it is not even apples to oranges. It's, it, it's apples to bowling balls. If, 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 to use your analogy, if we did this show for 15 years and five years ago we were at the peak, we were the best in the world, and each of the next five years, each year after that, it got worse and it got worse and it got worse. And then Fox said, hey, You guys, guys wouldn't think it's oh, you, though. Oh, okay, well, whether we would or we wouldn't, <laughs> if Fox then said, hey, there's this young, hotshot broadcaster we love, you're going to split reps with him, he's going to be on the show a lot. If I didn't have in my head in that moment, okay, this guy is brought on here to replace me. It doesn't mean the moment that I get the pink slip isn't devastating, but if I haven't prepared for that mentally, I haven't been doing myself, I've been doing myself a disservice. And as far as a lot of guys do storm out of the building, you're right. But one of the reasons the Giants decided to show, I would say, extra loyalty to Eli and not ask him to take a pay cut and not cut him this offseason is because they had faith that when this day came, yeah. he would act they like They just Eli lied to him two weeks ago. The owner said... I would be, I mean, it'd be a great year if Eli, if he played the whole year. Daniel Jones didn't play. So they just kept lying to him. If they said this was a fair competition, when did he win the job? When? I agree with you on that point. <laughs> of course, but, but, but if we knew that. No, and see, so if it's not right, then it's not going to sit with you. If Eli had four games where he stunk it up, he could be like, you know something? I, I, I mean, it is time for me to move on. But when they move on to you after two weeks, like, it's just not fair. And even though you might not know, when it's not fair, it's not fair. And what Eli did yesterday was above the call. That's the reason why he's got that captain. That's the reason why he's got that Walter Payton. It's not because he just chose to, one day, I'm just going to be a nice guy. This is who Eli Manning is. I've been saying it for a long time. And that is part of the reason why the Giants did give him grace. Because he's been a class act. And yesterday, when it was the most difficult, I would argue the most difficult day of his career. He showed nothing but class. That's all I'm trying to get. To, to, to the magnitude of what he went through yesterday when you lose your job to someone who does not have more ability than you. That's what I'm representing here today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.